Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will extensively learn about the indirect function available in Microsoft Excel with five different examples. So let's start. So Excel indirect function is uh, basically returns a valid cell reference from a given text string. And uh, indirect is useful when you want to assemble a text value that can be used as a valid reference. So I will give you some different examples in this particular video so that you can understand how indirect function can be useful for you as well. So let's get start with the very basic and fundamental. So I will be using indirect function with two different kind of approaches. The first one is, so let's start equals to indirect. And there are two function arguments in this fun function, okay? So the first function argument is reference underscore text. So this is a reference supplied as a text. And another argument is a1, which is in square brackets. It's an optional. And uh, this is used for a boolean to indicate a1 or r1, c1 style reference. So the default is true, which is the a1 style, okay? Now, let's start equals to indirect and I will refer cell address here which is b5 and I will close the bracket and press enter key so instead of giving me a b5 cell address outcome it's just giving me the c5 uh, output which is Raheem why it's so because uh, basically the first uh, this example is basically refers to the cell b5 right here let me show you indirect b5 which contains the text c5 so thus it is generating the formula on the back end which is equals to c5 and the c5 contains Raheem so this is an indirect way of calling a, a cell address with an another cell address and get the desired output the another way is that if I use indirect bracket open and in the inverted quotes if I write C5, which is supplying as a text string value, so it directly gives me which is available in C5, that is Raheem. So there are two different approaches, right? So if I summarize these two approaches that what is useful and how it be beneficial. So using the double quotes, which in the second examples uh, tells Excel that uh, there is a text inside the double quotes is your text string basically, okay? And whereas linking to a cell in the first example uh, tells Excel that the contents of a cell is your text string. Okay, so there are two approaches indirect. You can call a cell and in that particular cell another cell which gives you the return output or you can use it as a text string by inverted commas. So this was the fundamental use of indirect calling a value from a certain cell. But let's uh, define the indirect in different five kind of examples where you can uh, thought that how it can be useful for you as well. So the first example is uh, we can make a range fix when we can use a sum function okay with an indirect. Normally what happens is let me show you for example this uh, random numbers are starting from uh, b4 till b12 if I copy this range and uh, I will paste here and if I just use for example, let me just delete this first. If I use here sum function to get the total of all these numbers, so it returns uh, 538. And for example, in future, if within these range, if I insert one additional raw. Now for, for the current scenario, the sum function picks the first cell of a number which is starts from E4 and it ends till E12. So we have a range from E4 to E12, right? But for example, if I insert one and another cell or a raw and I put a number here. So now you can see the number has been updated in the sum function, whereas because the range has been increased by one cell address. So now it's E4 to E13. So if we want to sum a range, but we, we want to make it as a fixed range. So in the sum function, we can add indirect function to make that uh, certain range uh, kind of an absolute. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Let me show it to you here. I have already mentioned the solution here. So let me apply quickly sum. then we will add indirect. Okay, and then we will 
make sure that we put the inverted commas and we will select the range uh, which is from uh, B4 till B4 till B12 okay and inverted comma close bracket close so it gives me 538 okay this is uh, the formula which we have used now for example if I insert a new raw okay for example if I insert a new raw and I add a number here now if I go back to my formula it is still from B4 to B12 okay so now it still the range is basically fixed okay so this is how you can just compare simple sum with an indirect function to make a sum with a fixed ranges okay let's go to the next example you can also create a dependent drop down list uh, based on indirect function so how are we gonna do that for example if we have two list uh, the list of fruits names and the vegetable names okay and what we're gonna do is uh, first we will define uh, in the a5 cell a drop down menu where we have two names either fruit or vegetable and whatever the category we will select either a fruit or a vegetable the list will get updated automatically so that kind of a drop dependent drop down uh, list we want to create so that you can do with an indirect approach as well so how are we gonna do that the first step would be you have to select these two columns uh, go to the formulas tab and uh, click on create from selection now why we are doing that uh, this step because uh, first we will be defining the name ranges of these two columns with a name of the with, with the name of the header so the first column name would be the fruits and the second column name of the vegetables and that called the name range and that name range will be defined uh, as an indirect function to get the dependent drop down list so the first step was to uh, go to formula uh, select the data go to formulas tab and create from selection and just check mark on top row now if you go to name manager you will find two name ranges fruits and vegetables right next part is that now in the category we have to create a drop down uh, list so for that we will go to data tab and uh, I will click on data validation so here first we will select list and then we will define the source which is just select the two headers which is fruits and vegetable okay so now here is a drop down menu I can select fruits in the category or the vegetables now I want to have a list based on this particular category so I am on B5 which is my active cell now I will go to again data validation and I will say create a list but in the source now I will use the indirect function so equals to indirect bracket open and I will give the cell address which is uh, the category uh, in A5 and I will close the bracket so now you can see that when I open the list here it only showing me the list of vegetables I can select any kind of name uh, within the vegetables category and now if I change the category from vegetables to fruits and if I open the list now I can see the fruits list available here so this is dependent drop down list which you can create uh, with the help of an indirect functions right now the third example uh, referencing the other worksheets and getting the data with the help of indirect function so first uh, let me create a month drop down menu here so we have three months sheets available uh, the name are Jan 2022 Fab 2022 and March 2022 so we will have a drop down menu in cell B4 for doing that we will go to data tab data validation we will select list and we have the names available here so we will select from E5 to E7 and I will press OK so now I have I can just click on any month uh, like January February or March right so it will give me that particular uh, name in this cell and based on this selection what I need to fetch is there are four different kind of numbers which are in separate sheets so we have a separate sheet for the month of it in percentage net profit and net profit in percentage so let me start here uh, equals to sum bracket open indirect okay and then as you know that when you call uh, a 3d reference so it contains the name of a sheet but it has a structure that it first contains an apostrophe mark then name of the sheet right and then the cell address so uh, first we need to define the apostrophe in inverted commas then m percent 
and then the name of the sheet which is already we created we will pick it from the cell before because we know that March 2022 has a sheet name is here and we will again join that with with a structure of uh, sheet references so again we will put it inverted commas and apostrophe exclamation mark and we will say here b3 because the uh, every sheet which is jan feb and march you can see here at the bottom uh, the profit number are all are in different sheets but are on the different cell the same cell address which is the b3 okay. we have got the profit percent profit number gross profit percentage net profit and net profit percentage and here what we need to change is so the b3 is contains the number of profit which is presented in every different sheet jan feb and march okay so there is another example you can we can use indirect function with a name ranges so there are four regions are there north south east and west and we have 12 months for example these are sales so what first step we're going to do is we will select these four columns and we will define a name ranges for each of the column so i have selected the data and i will go to the formulas i will click on create from selection and just check mark on top row and press ok so now uh, as you can see here all the total numbers are coming because i am using the name ranges in each of the column with the help of some function okay and the next step is that i have already created a drop down list for choosing a region here now the last part is that whatever the region i will select from this drop down value the sum will come the sum of that particular column will come here okay so how are we going to do that it's easy sum indirect and the address will be a6 and bracket close so if i change the region the i, I can get easily the total of that region as well so uh, with indirect you can also use it is in a, in a name range and you can get the desired outcome as well okay so this was the fourth example the last example for an indirect function is that we can create a dynamic chart as well okay so for doing that we need to follow some steps so step number one we need a drop down menu and in the insert i will insert a combo box so let me just draw the combo box right now i need to link this combo box with excel sheet and also to fill that so that the drop down menu uh, have some list of items also so for doing that right click go to format cells uh, sorry format control right click format control okay so in the control tab there are two fields input range and cell link so in the input range we already have defined uh, the four names so we will pick from h2 to h5 and we will link the cell which will be the j2 okay and i will press ok so i can select profit or gross profit percentage and what i need to do is basically selection on on any of the name here i want that particular chart okay so how how can i get that chart basically so it's very easy uh, i have already created these four chart based on the data profit gross profit percentage net profit and net profit percentage so the first step is to define each uh, cell a name so that because each cell contains a chart in it so i will define a name range for each of the cell so for 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 the profit which is in a1 i will go to the name box and i will say that the name which i want to assign is profit and i will press the enter key the next is gross profit percentage so i will just add a name which is gp okay you can define any other name you would like to the third name uh, will be net underscore profit remember that the name ranges uh, the name ranges cannot have spaces so net underscore profit the and the fourth one is going to the name box and net underscore profit underscore percent okay so we have defined four uh, name ranges as well also what we have done is we have also inserted a combo box and connected as well now the next step number three would be the selection uh, because based on this particular 
drop down menu we want to select a chart but one chart at a time okay so for the selection in the selection k2 we will use a vlookup function so vlookup lookup value is the output value uh, this basically represents whenever a user basically opens a drop down menu and he select any item the number will generate here so the user if select the third item from a list so the output cell will select three here and based on three we want a net profit so imagine that if a user opens a drop down menu if you want to select the first item which is the profit will be the three and then it will be as false okay so for example if a user selects here for example net profit so this output generates three and it's selecting the net underscore profit because net underscore profit has been defined as a name range for each of the chart okay now the last part the last part is that that we will go to uh, formulas and name manager and we will create a new uh, name range which will be based on an indirect function so first we will define a name which will be choose underscore chart or you can give any other name you would like to and then here we will write a formula which is indirect bracket open and we will go to the raw data sheet and we will say that pick the this particular selection okay and we know that it will not pick basically this cell value it will indirectly pick the name range which we have defined for the chart okay so i will close the bracket and i will press okay close so now what i will do is i will select a, a blank range which is contain which contains some columns and rows and i will press control c for copy and i will go to paste and i will say that uh, make this range as a link picture so once it is defined as a link picture i will go to formula bar and i will say equals to choose underscore chart so i will define that name range on this image and i will press the enter key so I, I will successfully get my that particular chart here and what i can do is that whenever i can select any name from the drop down menu it basically recalling or getting indirectly that particular chart right so this is cool and easy to create this kind of a dynamic chart with the help of an indirect function right so i have given you five different examples uh, with uh, for the indirect function in this particular video where you can be utilizing uh, the indirect function to make your life easier thank you